it is in ordinary life. Yeah. Nothing you're saying is not true every day for all the other news. In other words, they control the media controls what they print. Whether it's WikiLeaks, whether it's a news item, whether it's from AP, Asian Most Most Press, from the New York Times, they all make those decisions. So it's, uh, you're, what you're complaining about is correct. It's true, but it's true for everything. It's not just true for WikiLeaks. Well, uh, why didn't, for example, the New York Times, why didn't the New York Times publish most of the material? They haven't published. They've published very little. What, about a fifth or a sixth of what the Guardian publishes or Le Monde publishes in Paris? Why do they do that? The answer is obvious. Because the government, of course. And they want to be on the safe side. So, and, uh, because of the, the negative attitude from the government, they also had this, uh, I would say, not very uh, nice attitude to Julian Assange. Also. Exactly. Exactly. They attacked him on the front page of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. So did the Guardian. But the Guardian is now pulling back. Now he's a friendly man again. Because they realized there was nothing to be gained by attacking him. The only people who gained was the New York Times, they thought. Because the New York Times thinks that they can show that they're in, in balance. They attack Julian Assange, they print his articles. They attack Julian Assange, they print his articles. And that makes them, they feel better about it. But it seems to me very odd that you would attack the personal habits, the hygiene, the dress sense of a reporter, and not ever discuss the journalism.